That's right. He deserves all the praise. Every praise we can think of, you know. Uh, she would say he, he, he's bringing a trailer load of praise. But I think 10 trailers is not even enough. You have to worship and praise the most high each and every day, like every single time, every day. The message the Lord is giving us this morning is special. And that is why the devil pops tooth and nail, even this morning, <laughs> to make sure that this message never gets to you. But brothers and sisters, the Lord is King Yahweh. King of kings and Lord of lords, and no amount of backbiting, no amount of, you know, there's nothing the devil can do, no amount of his activities, no activity of the kingdom of darkness can stop the Lord, Yahweh, he is king of the universe, you know, kingdom of, <laughs> the light, kingdom of darkness, all you have to do is just hold transformer, you know, right now. So that's how I welcome you back to church and know that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords is with us on church on radio with Martin Ivanish Mugre Guria Zanum but the first on what now this is the fast FM and Saba. How was your week? Did you do exploits? Me, I dealt with the devil. I used Kobu Kong the devil. They're still crying from the severe pain, you know, from the injuries I gave you. And then I am just getting started because right now is time to share the message of the Lord. But today with you, the devil is crying right now. The devil is listening and he's crying, saying things like you should have, like, you know, he's regretting. <laughs> every move, you know, well, all of his effort always will be a waste of time once there is Yahweh over there, washing over us, washing over every member of the kingdom of life. You know, he's washing over you, he's washing over us right now. Today the Lord is saying that religion limits his spirit. How come? Religion is supposed to be a good thing. It is supposed to be a medium by which we get in contact with the Lord. How come this morning the Lord is telling us that this medium limits his spirit? It is because of fanatism. The Lord is talking about those who are supposed to be his children that champions his spirit, but right now they are fanatics. The Lord is talking about those who will refuse to worship Him if it is not done in a Catholic way or an Anglican way or a Pentecostal way. The Lord is talking about those who will condemn others because they are not of the same household of faith with them. funny thing about this kind of people is that they don't even love the Lord. They use their contest to make themselves relevant. Whenever things of Yahweh, the King of Kings, is being discussed, they want to use their religion to confuse people from getting to Elohim, Eshadai, Adonai, Yahweh. They just want to deceive people a lot. You know, there are a lot of wolves in sheep clothing dwelling amongst us. The children of God, the children of light, the children of Yahweh. These sheep or this wolf in sheep clothing, they engineer the fight for supremacy amongst the children of the kingdom of light. Why are you fighting your brother? Because he is Anglican. Why are you fighting your brother? Because he is Catholic. Why can't you marry your sister from Methodist? Didn't Christ tell you that a kingdom that is 
that a kingdom that fights itself cannot stand. That is a kingdom that is against itself cannot stand. Why have you accepted this divide and wrong tactics? The kingdom of darkness is using against you this particular tactics. The kingdom of darkness is using it against you. Why have you placed the limit to the worship of the Lord? You know, the king of kings and Lord of lords, Yahweh himself, the maker of heaven and earth. Why can't you worship the Lord with me right now? Because I don't sound like members of your church. This is the this is church on radio with Martin Fanch with prayer glory yes and back of course of hot now this is the part which I want you to join me right now. Let's worship the king of the universe, the maker of heaven and earth. When we get back, I will explain more about this message of the Lord. Yes, it is tough, but it has to be said the Lord has instructed and you're getting it. So let me invite Donnie McLaughlin as he sings in Swahili, I think, <laughs> or in South African language, I see. Then, then after that is uh, JJ Heston and Travis Green. When we get back, we'll discuss more on this topic of the Lord that says religion needs my praise. <laughs> 